One in five Australians live with a short or long-term disability. And here at Microsoft, we think technology has the promise to really help that community more fully engage with the world around them. That led us early this year to, to make a request to our partner community for any ideas as to how we could use the latest and greatest in technology to more fully engage those living with a disability in the digital world. Uh, we had a pitch day back in April where we had eight of those teams come together. And from that pitch day, getaboutable.com were the winner from, from that day. And I'm delighted today to sit down with Yasmin, with Steve and with Andrew to talk a bit about their business. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks, Steve. Yes, and maybe I'll start with you. If you could just tell us a little bit about the background of getaboutable.com. So getaboutable is a Canberra-based um, social enterprise. And uh, I started getaboutable a few years back um, as a result of sheer frustration of the lack of information available about accessible travel and leisure activities. And, and getaboutable.com is a bit like TripAdvisor, I think you were telling me earlier. Yes, yes. So um, the best way to think of it, our tagline is we're like the trip advisor for people with disabilities, the 20% of the population with accessibility needs, as well as their families, friends, and other supporters. That's awesome. So Steve, how did you uh, come to be involved with Yasmin and the getaboutable.com team? Yeah, so luckily Andrew and I attended a innovation event probably around a year ago. Okay. Um, we were looking to really utilize our IT backgrounds to really join a project which would you know, contribute to society and really add value to the world. And that's we luckily stumbled across Yasmin's pitch. I think you found a pretty good spot right here. So uh, Andrew and yourself, what's your that's background? Right. As, as Steve said, so in my background is a mechatronic engineering background, yeah. but yeah, I really just wanted to be a part of something, something that would give a big kind of social impact, yeah. um, which kind of works so well with this Microsoft, you know, being a part of Microsoft's partnering ecosystem, yeah. um, because our goal is really just to do some good in the world. So it all, it all kind of fit together really nicely. Good on you, it's fantastic. Yes, when we were talking earlier about, obviously this is a great thing to do full stop and it's a great business idea full stop, but at the same time there's a massive commercial opportunity as well, isn't there, for digital assistive technology in Australia and around the world? Yes, um, so similar to the pink dollar used mm. to describe the spending power of the LGBTI community, yep. um, the purple dollar refers to the spending power of people with disability. Right and um, that they have money to spend in businesses that cater to their needs. You bet. I read a report that suggested Deloitte have estimated this at about a $1.4 billion market here uh, in 2020. Uh, uh, at the same time, you were sharing with me some statistics about uh, tourism. Yes, so um, last year there was a report published, um, commissioned by Tourism Australia, right. that sh showed that accessible tourism is worth over $10 billion each year to the Australian economy. Right. And that's more than the inbound Chinese tourist market. Right. Which is quite a statistic when you think about how, how large the inbound Chinese market is perceived to be, and this is much larger than it. So um, uh, what a great commercial opportunity at the same time as doing some fantastic work in, in, the, in the industry. Right. You've been through uh, a long journey running uh, your business, and obviously with Steve and Andrew coming on board and now being involved in this AI for Accessibility Challenge, what, what advice would you offer to other organisations who are looking to bring their ideas to market as well? Maybe I'll, I'll start with, with you, Steve. Um, just businesses need to just let us know that, for example, that their business supports accessibility entrances or you know, they're inclusive. And you know, just one of the biggest issues that we find is websites don't actually detail any of this stuff. And you can imagine someone like Yasmin trying to go to your local cafe has, you know, Huge troubles trying to figure out, you know, if she can get in or not. Right. Yeah, it's a fantastic idea. Yasmin, what about what about from your point of view? Um, yeah, from my point of view, it's all about involving the people with disabilities. Yeah. Um, it's remembering that if we feel welcome, yeah. we will return and tell yeah. our friends yeah. about the business and that we have money to spend mm. in those businesses. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and Andrew. similar to that, it's just um, for those who are actually designing solutions, um, just talk to and involve people with disabilities. Yep. Um, just remember that it's not just people in wheelchairs, you've got to consider yep. people with other mobility needs as well as people with um, you know, hearing, vision, intellectual disabilities, as well as those with various sensitivities as well. You bet. So there's a broad range of disabilities that we need to be thinking about, not just those that we might have described as traditional disabilities that are more visible to uh, members of society today. So. That's awesome advice. Um, I want to tell you uh, directly how proud we are to work alongside you. Um, thank you for all the work that you do. And we look forward to um, working in partnership to continue the great work that getaboutable.com is doing. Great. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.